So one of the questions I most often asked is where do I get all my books? How on earth can I afford that many books and have not have had my legs broken by the mafia? The simple answer is I buy most of my books secondhand. The likelihood is if you pull a book off my shelf it will more often than not have a penciled in price on the first page. I think charity shops, secondhand bookshops are an amazing place to buy books and I really enjoy buying books from them. I find it quite fun. It's kind of like going on a book hunt. You never know exactly what you're going to return with. It's definitely not the method to employ if you have a specific book in mind. However, if you just want a good read, if you're just trying to add to your collection, then hunting through charity shops is a brilliant way. I'm here in the town of Leamington Spa, a town quite near where I used to go to university if anyone's interested. The reason I've chosen here for my book hunt is that it's 78% charity shops. Anyway, come along on my journey now. Okay, this is a video on how to buy all the books. You're about to come with me on my book buying adventure. The first thing I recommend you do is have a money limit. I'm going with £30 today, we'll see what we can buy with that. remember with charity shops and secondhand bookshops is that a lot of it comes down to luck. It really depends who's just donated a lot of books. Some days you will go out and you'll have a look in the shops and you'll see nothing that interests you. Other days you'll find an amazing haul and end up bringing it back like I did today. So just keep an eye out and if you're lucky you might find something that's worth reading. If you're obsessive you might do this every weekend for a considerable period of your life and end up with a room with more books than oxygen. Anyway, happy reading. Tell me if you managed to get anything great from a charity shop. What's the best bargain you've ever spotted? And as always, was there any books you saw in that book haul that you're interested in that you want me to read straight away and put up reviews for? I'm always up for suggestions and happy to talk about the books I bought. If you have any more questions about how I buy my books, leave them down below and I'll be sure to give you some answers. Anyway, that should do it for the Torrent of Books for this week. Keep an eye out, this was quite fun and it didn't kill me, so you might see a few more videos next week as well. I will talk to you all later. Bye.